Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the third session of our BICB ethics series, specifically focusing on section to responsibility in practice. In our previous two sessions, we covered general information and the key principles of this section. Now it's time to put that knowledge to the test with some challenging mock exams. We'll be having four sessions dedicated to these practice exams, so make sure to stay tuned for all of them. If you haven't watched the previous sessions yet, you can find the links in the top right corner of this video. Let's get started and see how well you understand these crucial ethical guidelines. Mock Exam 1 a behavior analyst has been using a specific reinforcement strategy for a client's aggressive behavior. After reviewing recent data over the past month, they notice that the client's aggression has not decreased and has even increased slightly. The behavior analyst is concerned and wants to ensure the client receives effective treatment. What should the behavior analyst do? 1. Continue using the strategy hoping it will eventually work. 2. Ignore the data and try a different, untested method. 3. Consult with colleagues to find a more effective evidence-based intervention. 4. Stop the intervention without finding a replacement. One. Continue using the strategy, hoping it will eventually work. Not correct. Ineffective strategies should not be continued. 2. Ignore the data and try a different, untested method. Not correct. Interventions should be evidence-based. 3. Consult with colleagues to find a more effective evidence-based intervention. Looks great. Consulting with colleagues ensures the intervention is effective and based on scientific evidence. 4. Stop the intervention without finding a replacement. Not correct. A replacement should be found to avoid gaps in treatment. Therefore, the correct answer is 3. Consult with colleagues to find a more effective evidence-based intervention. Behavior analysts must provide effective treatment based on data and evidence. Mock Exam 2 A client's parent suggests using a specific dietary supplement to improve their child's behavior. The behavior analyst is not familiar with this supplement and notices there is no scientific evidence supporting its use for behavioral improvement. However, the parent is very insistent. What should the behavior analyst do? 1. Agree to the suggestion without any research. 2. Dismiss the suggestion without consideration. 3. Research the supplement and consult with medical professionals before making a recommendation. 4. Implement the suggestion immediately to please the parent. One, agree to the suggestion without any research. Not correct. Decisions should be based on evidence. Two, dismiss the suggestion without consideration. Not correct. Parental input should be considered. Three, research the supplement and consult with medical professionals before making a recommendation. Looks great. Ensuring the supplement is safe and effective before use. 4. Implement the suggestion immediately to please the parent. Not correct. Safety and efficacy must be established first. Therefore, the correct answer is 3. Research the supplement and consult with medical professionals before making a recommendation. Behavior analysts must ensure treatments are safe and based on evidence. Mock Exam 3. A behavior analyst has a backlog of progress reports due to a recent increase in their caseload. Several reports are overdue, and the analyst knows that delayed reports can impact funding and the client's continuity of care. 
What is the best course of action for the behavior analyst to take? 1. Submit the most recent ones and ignore the older ones. 2. Catch up on all reports as soon as possible and set a schedule to prevent future backlogs. 3. Ask a colleague to write the reports for them. 4. Skip the reports altogether. One, submit the most recent ones and ignore the older ones. Not correct. All reports should be submitted. Two, catch up on all reports as soon as possible and set a schedule to prevent future backlogs. Looks great. Ensures all necessary documentation is up to date. Three, ask a colleague to write the reports for them. Not correct. The behavior analyst is responsible for their own documentation. 4. Skip the reports altogether. Not correct. Reports are necessary for tracking progress and accountability. Therefore, the correct answer is 2. Catch up on all reports as soon as possible and set a schedule to prevent future backlogs. Behavior analysts must deliver services and complete related tasks in a timely manner. Mock Exam 4 A client needs an urgent assessment to qualify for a new treatment program. That could significantly improve their quality of life. The behavior analyst has several other assessments scheduled but recognizes the importance of this urgent assessment. What should the behavior analyst do? 1. Stick to the current schedule and assess the client when initially planned. 2. Prioritize the urgent assessment and rest to less critical appointments. 3. Delegate the assessment to an untrained assistant. 4. Postpone the assessment until a more convenient time. One, stick to the current schedule and assess the client when initially planned. Not correct. Urgent needs should be prioritized. Two, prioritize the urgent assessment and rest schedule less critical appointments. Looks great. Prioritizing urgent needs ensures timely access to important treatments. Three, delegate the assessment to an untrained assistant. Not correct. Assessments should be conducted by trained professionals. 4. Postpone the assessment until a more convenient time. Not correct. Urgent assessments should be addressed promptly. Therefore, the correct answer is 2. Prioritize the urgent assessment and rest to dual less critical appointments. Behavior analysts must ensure timely service delivery. Mock Exam 5. A behavior analyst needs to share client data with a colleague for a consultation. The data includes sensitive information that must remain confidential. What steps should the behavior analyst take to protect the client's confidentiality? 1. Share the data in a public setting to make it convenient. 2. Use encrypted email to send the data securely. Three. Share the data verbally without any documentation. 4. Send the data via an unencrypted email. 1. Share the data in a public setting to make it convenient. Not correct. Confidential data should be shared securely. 2. Use encrypted email to send the data securely. Looks great. Ensures that the data is protected during transmission. 3. Share the data verbally without any documentation. Not correct. Proper documentation is necessary for consultation. 4. Send the data via an unencrypted email. Not correct. 
data should be encrypted to protect confidentiality. Therefore, the correct answer is 2. Use encrypted email to send the data securely. Behavior analysts must take appropriate steps to protect client confidentiality. Mock Exam 6. During a telehealth session, a behavior analyst realizes that the client's confidential information might be overheard by others in the same room. What should the behavior analyst do to ensure confidentiality? 1. Continue the session and hope no one hears. 2. Move to a private location immediately. 3. Ignore the potential breach of confidentiality. 4. Ask the client to speak more quietly. One, continue the session and hope no one hears. Not correct. Confidentiality must be protected. Two, move to a private location immediately. Looks great. Ensures confidentiality during the session. Three, ignore the potential breach of confidentiality. Not correct. Potential breaches should be addressed immediately. Four, Ask the client to speak more quietly. Not correct. Moving to a private location is more effective. Therefore, the correct answer is two. Move to a private location immediately. Behavior analysts must ensure client confidentiality during all interactions. Mock exam seven. A behavior analyst receives a court order to release a client's confidential records as part of a legal investigation. What is the appropriate course of action for the behavior analysts? 1. Refuse to release the records to protect the client's privacy. 2. Release only the necessary information as required by the court order. 3. Release all information about the client without discretion. 4. Ask the client for permission before complying with the court order. One, refuse to release the records. Not correct. Legal requirements must be followed. Two, release only the necessary information as required by the court order. Looks great. Ensures compliance with legal requirements while protecting confidentiality. Three, release all information about the client. Not correct. Only necessary information should be disclosed. 4. Ask the client for permission first. Not correct. Court orders must be complied with directly. Therefore, the correct answer is 2. Release only the necessary information as required by the court order. Behavior analysts must comply with legal requirements while protecting client confidentiality. Mock Exam 8. During a telehealth session, a behavior analyst realizes that the client's confidential information might be overheard by others in the same room. What should the behavior analyst do to ensure confidentiality? 1. Continue the session and hope no one hears. 2. Move to a private location immediately. 3. Ignore the potential breach of confidentiality. 4. Ask the client to speak more quietly. One, continue the session and hope no one hears. Not correct. Confidentiality must be protected. Two, move to a private location immediately. Looks great. Ensures confidentiality during the session. 3. Ignore the potential breach of confidentiality. Not correct. Potential breaches should be addressed immediately. 4. Ask the client to speak more quietly. Not correct. Moving to a private location is more effective. 
Therefore, the correct answer is 2. Move to a private location immediately. Behavior analysts must ensure client confidentiality during all interactions. Mock Exam 9 A behavior analyst is transitioning to a new job and needs to ensure the proper handling of all client records. They have several physical files and electronic records that contain sensitive client information. What should the behavior analyst do to comply with documentation protection and retention requirements? 1. Take the physical files home for safekeeping. 2. Leave the physical files in their current office without informing anyone. 3. Ensure that all records are securely transferred to the organization's designated storage facility. 4. Destroy all records to prevent any potential data breaches. One, take the physical files home for safekeeping. Not correct. Client records should remain secure within the organization. Two, leave the physical files in their current office without informing anyone. Not correct. Proper transfer to secure storage is needed. Three, ensure that all records are securely transferred to the organization's designated storage facility. Looks great. This ensures compliance with documentation protection and retention requirements. 4. Destroy all records to prevent any potential data breaches. Not correct. Records should be retained as required by applicable laws. Therefore, the correct answer is 3. Ensure that all records are securely transferred to the organization's designated storage facility. Behavior analysts must comply with documentation protection and retention requirements. Mock Exam 10 A behavior analyst discovers that an invoice for a client incorrectly lists services that were never provided. This mistake could lead to overbilling the client. What steps should the behavior analyst take to address this situation? 1. Ignore the error since it's a small amount. Two. Inform the client and correct the billing error immediately. 3. Adjust future bills to make up for the error. 4. Blame the billing department for the mistake. One, ignore the error since it's a small amount. Not correct. Errors must be addressed promptly. 2. Inform the client and correct the billing error immediately. Looks great! Correcting the error ensures transparency and accuracy. 3. Adjust future bills to make up for the error. Not correct. Errors should be corrected immediately. 4. Blame the billing department for the mistake. Not correct. Accountability is key. Therefore, the correct answer is 2. Inform the client and correct the billing error immediately. Behavior analysts must ensure accurate billing and reporting. That wraps up our first set of mock exams for Section 2 responsibility in practice. I hope you found these scenarios helpful and challenging. Remember, we have three more sessions of mock exams coming up, so don't miss out. Practicing these scenarios is a great way to ensure you're fully prepared for the BICB exam and to strengthen your understanding of ethical behavior in practice. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. See you in the next session.